Uh, here we have iFlyRC.com's Poseidon all-in-one control system. Uh, comes in this uh, bag and they do give you instructions in color. Uh, these are also available at the product uh, page on the website. And uh, uh, so this one was sent to me by iFlyRC.com for review. Thanks for sending it. This one has pretty much all the electronics that you need on, in a quad, uh, except uh, the video transmitter and the camera. Uh, then it, it's got pretty much everything else. Uh, F4 based uh, uh, flight controller. Uh, so it runs beta, beta flight. And that uses the Omnibus target. It also has uh, the 7456 MAX chip, so that can run Beta Flight OSD. Uh, it's got a SD card slot, so you can do black box uh, logging. And uh, four BL Heli S 25 amp uh, D-Shot capable ESCs. Uh, those are based off the 7420 AON FETs. So those are uh, those are good for for 25 amps, no problem. So they should be able to run pretty much uh, any 5-inch prop on on the 2205, 2206, possibly even 2207 motors, uh, depending on the prop and and the weight. So uh, it's also as you can see here, it's got that shunt resistor. So that's a current sensor. Uh, so it, it's going to be able to read uh, actual cur current rather than the uh, software based uh, uh, current sensor that's on Betaflight uh, which you could probably also use if you if you want that instead. The ESCs are Biohal ES and those are as I said D-Shock compatible and they got uh, uh, the BB2 ship which is one of the better ones for Biohal ES and they run the JH15 uh, firmware from BLHAL ES and those are 3 to 4 S uh, compatible. It's also got a a BEC uh, that's a 1.5 amp uh, 5 volt BEC so it looks like it's a uh, looks like it's filtered uh, uh, somewhat so it should be should be okay for running the FC and any other 5 volt uh, uh, 5 volt component uh, although for usually for the camera and VTX you wanna you probably wanna use a separate back uh, the good ones to use are those D Sun backs uh, and just you know use a cap at the at that back output and possibly even use a cap right here at the 1000 uh, microfarad 25 volt uh, low ESR cap uh, capacitor. Panasonic FM and FR series capacitors are are pretty good. This, that's what I use and what most people use. The layout of the of the board is the the standard 30.5 by 30.5 mount holes and uh, it's got uh, two available UARTs, actual physical UARTs, buzzer and LED outputs. The gyro they're using is a uh, 6,000 uh, MPU 6,000 gyro. So that's one of the one of the better ones to use. The those are the ones that are uh, the least uh, sensitive. And of course, that as I say, that's your running SPI, which is the faster protocol. And most boards are running SPI uh, these days. So that's pretty much uh, the board. I'm, I'm gonna put it on the uh, magnifier so you can see the quality of the uh, of the PCB. Uh, it's actually quite quite good uh, quality uh, on on the PCB and the layout looks like it's pretty it's been pretty well designed and uh, pretty high grade uh, I don't, everything's lined up I don't see any blobs or it's done just it's very nice actually uh, on the product pictures it seems like there's a uh, some kind of heat sink here it's, it's probably an aluminum plate but uh, and it probably had a thermal pad, but I imagine they're not including it, perhaps because it, it, it will shift, and you don't want that aluminum plate touching these caps and causing a short. So I, I don't. I usually take them off because of that reason. All right, so let's look at it on the 
on the magnifier. Uh, so here, here it is under the magnifying glass. As you can see, pretty high quality uh, PCB. Everything's lined up nicely. There's no blobs or, or anything. So really, really good job on the on the board. And uh, so this uh, on the quality would line up uh, uh, the way it would line up. I believe it's like like so with the front uh, being that way right here, the front of the quad right uh, right here. So of course you can lay it out any way you want uh, just as long as you hook up the uh, the signal wires to the ESCs correctly you could orient it any way you want but uh, you know if you go by the markings uh, this is motor 1, motor 2, uh, motor 3 and motor 4 and so the uh, the SD card would be right here on top so it would be easy, easy to to get in and out so there you go, that's uh, uh, the quick uh, overview of the Poseidon all-in-one board. I, have I haven't tried one of these, I don't, I don't know how, how good it's going to work, but uh, I, need, I need to build a, a new quad. I have, I have the frame and motors uh, laying around, just got to get some time to build it, so I'm going to use this. I'm gonna use this board and see how it works, see how clean the video is, the OSD, and just get the overall uh, experience on the build and flying and, and see how, see how just how good these uh, all-in-one uh, boards are. A lot of people shy away from these because uh, like everything's together, so uh, in previous iterations from other other manufacturers, there's been issues with uh, noise, and uh, I guess the, they just don't tune well. Uh, but I haven't had a experience yet, so I'm gonna check this one out and see how it uh, just see how it uh, works. Uh, so I'll be building it pretty soon, and uh, uh, together with a frame that I also have to review. So so once I build it and fly it, uh, I'll let you guys know how it works and if I have any issues with uh, with the ESCs or, or the board itself or tuning it uh, but uh, looking from the uh, quality of the PCB uh, and the layout seems like it should it should be should be pretty good it should should work pretty well uh, but won't know until I hook it up and see see how it works alright thanks for watching and until the next one